Hi there, another anatomy and physiology discussion ang alay ko sa'yo for today because we're gonna have female reproductive system. If you wanna know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nika Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational content to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational content two to three times in a week. Don't miss that. I'll subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi nurses, another anatomy and physiology discussion ng ale ko sa yo for today. Because on this video, I will give you a thorough discussion of your female reproductive system. And I'm so happy because I can get to share this educational material to you. Para matulungan ka sa pag-aaral mo. Now, in order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome sa ating formal discussion ng iyong female reproductive system, anatomy, and physiology. Yes, this is another lecture sa ating human anatomy, anafi, kung saan i-discuss natin o bibigyan ko kayo ng mga videos about sa ating human anatomy para naman mas madali yung pag-aaral mo. Ha? This is one of the challenging uh, major subjects sa ating nursing course. Kaya naman, I suggest na i-check out mo yung other videos na kareneate ko and watch out for more upcoming and a few videos, okay? But for this one, we're going to discuss about the female reproductive system. Now, simulan na natin to, ha? About ito sa Pukilanja Char. Mm -mm -mm. Now, let me share to you our objectives. We're gonna discuss the internal structures, the external structures of your female reproductive systems, okay? Handa ka na, let's begin. Now, first up, we're gonna have your internal structures. Under the internal structures ng iyong female anatomy, we're going to discuss ovaries, fallopian tubes, and your uterus. So, ovaries. Define natin to, ha? The ovaries are the ultimate life maker for the females. Oh, ang itlog. For its physical structure, it has an estimated length of 4 centimeters and width of 2 centimeters and is 1.5 centimeters thick. It appears to be shaped like an almond. It looks peated like a raisin but is grayish white in color. It is located proximal to both sides of the uterus uterus at the lower abdomen. For its function, the ovaries produce mature and discharge the egg cells or ova. Ovarian function is for the maturation and maintenance of the secondary sex characteristics of females. It also has three divisions, the protective layer of epithelium, the cortex, and the central medulla. You guys, kung di pa nakikita ng ovario, ito po siya, ma'am. I tried to be visual here para meron ka talaga clear reference. Alright. Now, internal structures, ano yung next? Fallopian tubes. Tapos na tayo sa ovaries. Next natin, fallopian tubes. Alright. Right. So let's define this. The fallopian tubes serve as the pathway of the egg cells towards the uterus. It is a smooth, hollow tunnel that is divided into four parts. The interstitial, which is one centimeter in length, the isthmus, which is two centimeters in length, and ampulla which is 5 centimeters in length, and the infundibular, which is 2 centimeters long and shaped like a funnel. Ito nga po siya, guys. Fallopian tube, tube, tube-like. Now, the funnel has small hairs called the fimbria that propel the ovum into the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube is lined with mucous membrane and underneath is the connective tissue and the muscle layer. The muscle layer is responsible for the peristaltic movement that propels the ovum forward. The distal ends of the fallopian tubes are open, making a pathway for conception to occur. Ayan! O, next na tayo. Last na tayo sa internal organs. Uterus. Ano na to? Ito ang ating bahay bata. Okay. The uterus is described as a hollow, muscular, pear-shaped organ. It is located at the lower pelvis, which is posterior to the bladder and anterior to the rectum. The uterus has an estimated length of 
of 5 to 7 centimeters and width of 5 centimeters. It is 2.5 centimeters deep in its widest part. For non-pregnant women, it is approximately 60 grams in weight. Mabigat din pala to. Its function is to receive the ovum from the fallopian tube and provide a place for implantation and nourishment. It also gives protection for the growing fetus. It is divided into three, the body, the isthmus, and the cervix. The body forms the bulk of the uterus being the uppermost part. This is also the part that expands to accommodate the growing fetus. The isthmus is just a short connection between the body and the cervix. This is the portion that is cut during a cesarean section. The cervix lies halfway above the vagina and other half extends into the vagina. It has an internal and external cervical os which is the opening into the cervical canal. Tapos na tayo sa internal. Ito na tayo sa ating external structures. Sa mga next nating slides, i-discuss natin yung mga parts na makikita mo sa, sa labas ng iyong uh, female reproductive system. <laughs> I was gonna say vajayjay. <laughs> so we're gonna have mons veneris, labia minora, labia majora, vestibule, clitoris, skin's glands, Bartholin's glands. Iti-discuss din natin ang ating forchette, perennial body, at ang iyong hymen. Mm -hmm. Masaya ito. Handa ka na. Let's begin. Ano ang mons veneris? Okay. The mons veneris is a pad of fat tissues over the symphysis pubis. It has a covering, of course, curly hairs, the pubic hair. It protects the pubic bone from trauma. Mm, it was trauma kayo masyadong ahitin. Charing. Ito na po siya. Ano naman ang iyong labia minora? Ano mo to? Ito yung ating picture ha. Labia minora at labia majora. Minora yung nasa loob ng parang um, ang tawag dito po sa tahong. Ito yung nasa inner, yung shell, yung pinaka majora. <laughs> Okay, the labia minora is a spread of two connective tissues, folds that are pinkish in color. The internal surface is composed of mucous membrane and the external surface is skin. It contains sebaceous glands all over the area. Ano naman ang iyong labia majora? Lateral to the labia minora are two folds of fat tissues covered by loose connective tissue and epithelium the labia majora. Its function is to protect the external genitalia and the distal urethra and vagina from trauma. Mm, may silbi pala ito, mams. Hindi lang siya for display. Now, it is covered in pubic hair that serves as additional protection against harmful bacteria that may enter the structure. Alright, ito po siya sa picture na to, ha? I hope na appreciate mo. Ito po, okay? Now, let's proceed. Na alam na alam mo na to. Ano to? Clitoris. Now, clitoris is a small circular organ of erectile tissue at the front of the labia minora. The prepuce, a fold of skin, serves as its covering. This is the center of sexual arousal and pleasure for females because it is highly sensitive to what? To touch and temperature. Mm, boys, alam nyo yan. <laughs> now, di masyadong natatouch. Natatouch. Ito na tayo sa ating skin's glands. Ano nga ba ito? Narinig mo na to. Sige, define natin. This is also called as the pattern ureteral glands. They are found lateral to the urethral meatus o yung ating daanan ng ihe, okay? So, sa butas ng babae, sa baba, tatlo yun, yung vagina, urethral meatus, at yung anus. Okay? Huwag malilito, ha? Diba yung daanan ng ihe sa daanan ng regla? Alright. The secretions from this gland lubricate the external genitalia during coitus. Mm, kapag ang ating skin's gland, ating, kapag ang skin's gland na babae ay na-stimulate during uh, sexual intercourse, it will uh, secretes lubrications. Okay? Secretions para talaga namang bonggam bonga. Ilam mo na yun. Charing! Oh, proceed na tayo. Bartholin's gland. Now, this is also called bulbo vaginal gland. This is another gland responsible for the lubrication of the external genitalia during coitus. It has ducts that open into the distal vagina. Both of these glands secretions are alkaline to help the sperm survive
survive in the vagina. Ano yung dalawang glands? So, meron tayong skin's glands and Bartolin's glands. Ito yung Bartolin's gland mo nasa baba. Ang skin's gland ay nasa taas, just um, lateral to your um, urethral meatus. Okay? So, both skin's glands and Bartolin's are um, uh, glands that is responsible for the lubrication of the external genitalia during coitus. Alam mo yan. So, malino na. Let's proceed. Okay. Now, we're gonna discuss for chat. Now, this is a ridge of tissue which is formed by the posterior joining of the labia minora and majora during episiotomy. This is the tissue that is cut to enlarge the vaginal opening. Ito po siya, oh, you guys. Alam mo yung median cut during delivery? Dito kinakat. Okay, sa ating for chat. Now, what else? Perineal body. This is a muscular area that stretches easily during childbirth. Most pregnancy exercises such as kegels and squatting are done to strengthen the perineal body to allow easier expansion during childbirth and avoid tearing the tissue. Ano? Ito yung perineal body natin, yung yellow. Ito siya, o. Oh. Ayan, yung nasa gitna. Okay? Na hymen. Nako, alam na alam mo to, girl. This covers the opening of the vagina. It is tough, elastic, semicircle tissue torn during the first sexual intercourse. Permanent ba to? Depende kung kailan ka magkakajowa at kailan ka, alam mo, matutorjak. Pero hanggat di ka pa natutorjak o wala pang mga, mga trauma na nangyari sa'yo, hindi ka nagbibisikleta, hindi ka na-accidente, na, which causes, you know, the disruption or pagkapunit ng yung hymen. Uh, nandiyan pa rin siya, intact pa rin siya, you guys. Okay? So, sana malinaw yun, ha? Now, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Maraming maraming salamat nga po sa inyong support. Uh, we've been really, really growing. And I really want to grab this opportunity para pasalamatan yung lahat ng mga nagko-comment dyan ha. Maraming maraming salamat po. Binabasa ko po lahat ng comments nyo. Thank you so much. I hope hindi naging bastos itong ating discussion. I try to be really, really funny and be uh, really professional for all of you guys. At the same time, gusto ko rin kayong patawanin ng very light lang. Alam mo naman, pili yung isip. Anyway, Anyways, let me know if you have any other nursing topics that you want me to do for you. By the way, if you haven't watched the other um, Anafi videos, Anafi discussions I did, I'll be putting it on the description box or just simply click the icon button, okay? Abangan nyo po yung ating mga next videos regarding anatomy and physiology, pharmacology, at maraming marami pang iba. Maraming maraming salamat po. You guys stay safe. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Tinkotok. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box. So simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe. I'll see you again.